I'm in this Volvo 740. Frank and I decided to swap cars so we can tell each other what we think of both cars and so we can compare both cars. <laughs> this is in no way comparable to a Volvo 740. I mean, it's pretty solid, just like the S60, but I don't know, it's, it, it feels a little too old for me. <laughs> wow, oh, it's, it's a quick car though. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's different. I mean, yes, it's, it's what I expected. Now, there's nothing wrong with a car of an age like this. I mean, I've had a lot of those myself as well. I've owned about five Mark II Golfs around the same age of this car. Also, a square box on wheels, so I know what it feels like. But if I have to compare this car with the S60 I drove earlier, I'm not really sure. This S60 is actually what I expected it to be. A comfortable cruiser, packed with options. Uh, but it's a bit boring to me. I mean, yes, it's a good car and it, it drives really nice, by the way. I, I did not expect the S60 to drive like this, but it's, it's not what the 740 is. I mean, that 740 is character. It's, it's funny to drive, it's funny to see the reactions of people. And this car doesn't have that. What it does have, however, is a lot of power. Yeah, this car has been tuned up to 300 and something horsepower, Walter told me. Uh, and it's good. I mean, the five cylinder, the five cylinder noise. Yeah, yeah. You know, put in a couple of clips. Of, of this five-cylinder noise. It's way more comfortable than the 740. It's more luxurious. Yeah. So how do you compare these cars? I mean, it's, it's funny to see where Volvo came from and where they are now, but yeah, these cars are so different. And the funny thing is, they are owned by the same guy and he uses this car as his daily driver and the 740 is his fun project. And I can see why. I mean, this car is, is absolutely suitable as a daily driver. It's running on LPG, by the way, so it's nice and cheap to run and it packed with options. There's really a lot on this car. But yeah, it, it runs solid, it, it's comfortable. But it kind of lacks the character of the 740. If I'm seeing the 740 in front of me, <laughs> I, I just think that's so much fun. So my honest opinion on this car, it's good, it's good. And I can see why people drive this. I mean, it's fun, it's fast, it's comfortable, it's, it's a brilliant cruiser. But it's not what the 740 is. Yeah. I wonder what Wouter is saying about this, because he drove this car at first, so He's probably cursing all over the 740 now because he thinks that is uncomfortable and whatever, but that's character. Oh, I can't really complain about these seats. I mean, I don't want to look below these cushions weird seats. I think they're totally worn, but they're still comfortable. 
and the handling for a car this age with these kilometers it's not that bad there are a lot of older cars with the same kilometers that handle a lot worse than this so I think you can't really complain with a car like this in this age so I do understand the owner I mean if I had to choose yeah I had no idea why not buy both so that's what we did with this video why not film both so I'm really curious to see what Frank thinks of the S60 after driving this car I'm not sure I think he liked this a little bit better it's a little bit older in mind so it fits oh yeah now you're driving a tank you dare saying everything but I do like all the cars like the 740 better the current owner is a true Volvo guy and he picked up the 740 from the family of the first owner he imported the car from Germany and had it inspected. And as perfect as this sounds, there are some holes in his story. Where some Volvos end up in Volvo heaven, waiting for their 72 unused turbos, this Volvo got the rescue it deserved. The owner welded it up, sorted all the technical issues and had it re-inspected. Which it passed with compliments. When you drive this car, you can feel that it gets the love it deserves. If only my last words of this S60 would have been as sweet as the story of the 740. What, what is this radio cluster? How do you change a channel? Jeez, there's so many buttons. Yeah, that's a bad thing for me. I mean, I, I, I don't like it if I have to keep watching the instrument cluster and stuff. I mean, I want to focus on the road, not on, on the buttons in the car. So that's better in the 700 series. Hmm. But apart from that, yeah, it's a very nice and pleasant car to drive. Or at least it was. Shortly after filming this video, we received some very worrying news. The S60 was seriously impacted by a lorry. And as cruel as it may sound, it withstood it like a real Volvo. The owner managed to get out unharmed, but the S60 did not manage to survive. We were all devastated by this news, and we hope that the S60 may rest in peace. Or in pieces. Thank you for watching, if you liked this video please subscribe to our channel, if you didn't like it f*** you and we hope to see you next time, bye bye.